Hi, and thanks for joining us. If you missed our last video, we were unsuccessful in our attempts to access Costa Rica's volcanoes. This turned out to be quite fortuitous. Costa Rica is one of the most beautiful countries to drive through. Luckily, we were in no hurry since we didn't really have a set stopping point in mind. In this special case, the journey was the destination. In this video, we make it all the way to Osa Peninsula. This is Costa Rica's wildest and least accessible national parks. But the wilder it remains, the more the biodiversity is protected. Hi, this is Dory and I'm Mena. We travel with our lovely dog Fiona to discover the most beautiful locations. And our goal is to share with you what it's like to live as a nomad. So thanks for following and welcome to our channel. Good morning, beautiful people. Happy Tuesday. So we slept good. Actually, I think this is the first time that we find our own spot without Overlander, iOverlander, or any sort of reference. Yeah, maybe we're getting good at this. It's about six o'clock in the morning. The sun is up. It's looking like a beautiful day. Today's goal is to find a decent campground so we could anchor down clean up the van a little bit and get ready for border crossing. Border crossing will be on Saturday because again, apparently the vets in Panama don't work the weekends and that's gonna save us about 130 something dollars. Hey Fee, still chowing down? Still chowing down. Wow. She might be a little sore from her vaccines yesterday. She got like four or five of them. Yeah, it's a great spot guys. I think we're gonna put this one on eye over lender. It's not a spot where you stay five days, but it's a spot where if you're stuck on a pinch, it could do the trick. what I did. <laughs> oh well. We're trying to figure out how to fix this now. We're actually looking for a used tire. Oh boy. So, I'm just gonna put my spare on, put this one back as a spare for now. And when we get to Panama, I'll buy three new tires, take the best one out of the tree and use it as a spare. So we're back at the campground and uh, just gonna keep the spare. 
on sled. It's a full size spare, so that's a good thing. So she got one new shoe. So yeah, I'll show you guys what happened. It's not because it was an older tire, even if it was a newer one, I think the same thing would have happened. See, it was this right here, this tree stump. So the tire just went on the sides. And I mean, she's 8,000 pounds, right? So any tire carrying that weight, catching that little stub, it would just cut it right through. A good thing is we are in this beautiful campground. So we're paying 800 colonis of, uh, I don't know, something like $10, maybe a little bit less. But it's crazy full of wildlife. There's a lot of birds and I'm gonna try to catch a lot of footage of different birds. Every wildlife we're gonna see, I wanna catch it with my big camera. So it'll be a great memory. It's really hot, 32, 33 degrees. Now we're really by the, uh, the Pacific. And now it's about four o'clock, so it's a little bit more cooler. And we're gonna go for a nice family walk. Wednesday today, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon and we're getting ready to go. It's a nice spot, I have to say. It's nice if you love watching birds. If you're like a bird watcher, you're really gonna enjoy this spot. I'm not much one of these bird watchers that would travel to some place just to watch exotic birds. Uh, but if you're into that, you're gonna love here. We actually walked around town yesterday there's not much to see besides the lovely boats. There's no waves here. The water's really calm. Uh, a little beach, you know, really, really cute little town. Two or three restaurants. They do have vegan options. So overall, it's just a nice, great, relaxing spot. Campground is decent. We, we truly enjoyed our stay over here. Surprisingly, you could catch Wi-Fi from the van even from where we were working, right? But it's gonna be time for us to go, mainly because it's hot, it's really hot. So we wanna move around, we wanna get some AC in the van and hopefully find a cooler spot. Also, our batteries are low. They're 50% and 70%. It's already two o'clock in the afternoon. We're not catching much sun over here. A little bit, but definitely not enough to uh, for the night. Maybe for the night, but I don't want to chance it. What happens is, if through the night the batteries go down to zero, then we have to plug somewhere to reboot our system. It's a safe mechanism, I think. And sometimes finding plugs over here to plug it, it is not easy. That being said, we could have moved the van down there because he does have plugs over there. But that's how we got into trouble yesterday. And honestly, I don't want to move this van. The only place that she's going is on her way out. So hopefully with the drive time and, you know, maybe two hours of sun, we could get them top pop 
to like 70, 80% both of them, that would be good enough to last us for the entire day. So we'll see how things go. But from here, now we're actually making our way towards the border. Border crossing will be on Saturday. So we still have a good three days left. Man is in the shower. I'm gonna take my last shower because we have no idea where we're gonna sleep tonight. And uh, I'm sweaty. It's really, really hot. Inside the van is like 36 degrees. Outside is about 32 degrees. So it's really hot. And uh, yeah, cold shower is gonna do me some good. And then we go. It's time for us to go. Thanks, say thank you, sir. Are just leaving Osa Peninsula now. It was 35 degrees where we were and although those toucans and macaws were just absolutely stunning, spectacular, we wanted to stay and watch them more but the heat was just getting to us so time to move on. <laughs> we have a beautiful viewpoint of the bay right here though so we want to show you how absolutely gorgeous it is. And I don't know if Dory mentioned it or not, but the Osa Peninsula, and more specifically Corcovado National Park, has the most biodiversity in all of the world, and that's concentrated in one little area. There wasn't a whole lot that we could do based on the fact that we have Fiona and the van. <laughs> uh, no jungle treks for us. And of course, you know, it's a hugely protected area, so she can't really get near it. But uh, we're so happy with the wildlife that we did get to see. And if you're in the area, definitely get a guided tour of Corcovado National Park, either a boat tour or a hike or a trek. You're not gonna regret it. You're gonna see so much biodiversity. What's cool too is this red soil, which is very reminiscent of Sedona. And I touched it, it's like a clay. It's really, really interesting. You see that? I can make myself a little face mask with that. See, can't see you anymore. Totally blend in. There it is. That's the gulf. Beautiful. And this, guys, is a boondocking spot. <laughs> so you too can camp here and see this view. Thank you, lovely gas station. <laughs> Even though you made us sick with your fumes. Yeah. We appreciated the clean bathrooms. Clean bathrooms, free showers. We didn't use the showers just because we woke up this morning with a big headache because you really, really feel those 
those fumes. So we just want to jet somewhere else. Maybe this headache's going to go away. But it's still kind of cold. Uh, and I was pretty safe. There was a guy working all night. And uh, they even give you free showers. I mean, how cold is that? But That's... we didn't use them. Yeah, we got to go breathe some fresh air. We're in Costa Rica after all. The rain has ended, we're being treated to this beautiful sunset. You see the whole valley and that cute little town down there. It's gorgeous. And it's a cute little spot for us to work. And there's a black puppy. And more could you ask for than a little black puppy. Good morning, we're here um, above the town, I think it's called Neely, and we're at a lookout point and restaurant and hotel. We're staying here for two days to work, and the view here is just mind-blowing. It's so beautiful. So Dory wasn't feeling too well yesterday. We wanted to have a hotel room with a nice bathroom. And uh, yeah, he's feeling better today, but we discovered that this is a great place to work before we cross to Panama. So we're gonna do that tomorrow morning. But I wanted to show you the view. It's a beautiful, beautiful place here. And this is our setup. Hard at work, bringing you guys some videos. 